So let's say you want to change the layout of a screen. Maybe the user clicks something and you want to change the layout when that happens. There are two ways of doing it. One, you could just simply change the layout by referencing a different layout file. Two, you can create a new activity. If you just simply change the layout file associated with the activity you're in, you will lose all of the data from the last layout. The previous layout instance will be completely erased. The other thing is that since you haven't changed the activity, only the layout, the user cannot press the back button on the device to simply go back to the previous layout. But if you make a new activity, there can be a new layout associated with that new activity. And with the new activity, you will have a whole new Java class specifically for that activity. This means that the new Java class can run completely separate code from the other activity. It's a great way to separate processes and screens on your app. Also, with a new activity, your old activity is saved if you want it to be. When you open a new activity, you can close the previous one if you don't want it to be saved for some reason. However, if you don't close the previous one, the user can press the back button and the current activity will close, but the previous one will be there just as it was before it was left. Most of the time, it is a good thing to let the user go back to previous screens and continue where they were before. This tutorial is going to show you how to set a new layout using the first method, which is not creating a new activity. The first thing you have to do is actually create the new layout. I'm an Android Studio, but if you're an Android Eclipse or anything else, um, the process is similar. Uh, just go to File, New, and then go to New, dot dot dot, um, under XML, because you're creating a new layout XML file, click XML, press the layout XML file. Uh, name your layout, I'm going to call this Layout2. You can uh, make it a linear layout, a relative layout, or whatever else you want, doesn't really matter for this case. That's up to you. I'm just going to make it a linear layout. Finish. And now I'm going to make my new layout. So I've already created a first layout. This was the default layout. I called it Layout 1. And I have a button that's going to change the layout to Layout 2. On Layout 2, I'm just going to put a large text view right at the top. Actually, this is a linear layout. I'm just going to quickly change this to Relative. And then now I can put it in the middle and I'm going to change the text that I just double clicked it so that this little thing pops up uh, call it layout 2 so it's obvious which layout is there now back to the Java class so this is all just one activity uh, and you can see when the activity starts in the onCreate method it's going to set the content view to be the layout uh, called layout 1 which is this layout this is how the activity sets its layout initially. So on layout 1, I'm going to create a reference to the button uh, on the layout, which is this. The ID is button. The ID, see, the ID is button. So I'm creating a reference to it, and I'm setting an on-click listener, and whatever happens in here is going to uh, run when the button is clicked. So in here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same method from up here, set content view, and then you give it the ID of the new layout. So set content view, let me see, view, and you can see right here that there's the int, which is an integer, layout res ID, which is this r.layout.layout1 or layout2 or whatever it is. So that's the integer ID of the layout. So that's the parameter we're going to give it. So r.layout dot and then the name of the layout, which is layout2. And this is the name of the layout, layout2.xml. And now I'm just going to run this in the Android emulator to show you that it works. OK, so this is the emulator. Just load up the app. And this is the first layout. So when you click this button, it should go to the second layout click it and then you can see that it says layout 2. So there you have it, that's how you change a layout in Android.